because I can't get enough of the weird world generation in Minecraft. Let's generate a worse. All right, we find ourselves in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial, we'll add some ore generation to our game. We've added the ore a long time ago, the amethyst ore, and now we'll make it spawn in the game. To do this, we will add a new class in our world.gen package called ore type, and this will be an enum, and we'll basically make a very interesting thing here. So first of all, we'll make the floating semicolon once more, and then we'll have a private final lazy of type block. Import this net Minecraft block, of course. This is called block. Then we'll have a private final integer max vein size. We'll have a pri uh, private final integer min height and a private final integer max height. Then IntelliJ is great for us because we can simply hover over this, add constructor parameters. Let's select all of them, say OK, and then there we go. We have a nice constructor here. Now for every one of those private fields, we want to also add a getter here. And we can do this by pressing Alt and Insert and then saying getter. And then as you can see, it already says, OK, which fields do you want getters for? We want fields for all of them. And this is how easy it can be. And then one last thing, we want a public static or type, which is going to be get. That this takes in a block and what's going to happen is we're going to go through or type or values and then if the block is equal to or dot block then we'll return the or and then down here we'll return a null if there is no or type based on this block and now we can add our or types so we do this similar to our mod armor material and our mod item tier that we've done in the tools and the armor materials. So we'll add amethyst and this is going to be a lazy dot of the mod blocks dot amethyst or and then we have the max vein size here. So let's do eight minimum height 25 maximum height 50. Now what's important with those numbers is that they're not that they're not always 100% accurate. At least that's what I found. There's plenty of ways that you can generate the ores and we've not generated anything here. We've just set these parameters, but it's sometimes a little bit wonky. Let, let's just say that. And once again, if you want to add something new here, you put in a comma and then you call this again. So for example, copper, and then we would have to fill it with the lazy of a block, another max vein size, minimum height, and so on. So new ones are always separated with a comma and the last one has the semicolon just with any normal enum as well. And now that that's done in the gen package, we'll create a new class called the mod or generation. And this once again will have a public static void generate ors with a final biome loading event called event. So this will be a for each loop. This will loop through all of the or types. So or type or or type dot values. So the first thing that we want is we want a or feature config or feature config is equal to a new or feature config. Now the first thing that we want is a rule test. Now that's very interesting. A rule test basically determines what the fill block around this block is. So we can go to or feature config dot filler block type dot base stone world. As you can see, there's also a base stone nether and a nether rack. So this simply looks for the surrounding blocks and makes sure that those are stone blocks in this case. Then we want a block state. We can get this by doing or dot get block dot get dot get to default state. And then the size, this is the vein size or dot get max vein size. And there you go. The or feature config is done. You can also middle mouse button click on the or feature config and then use alt f7 to see where it has been used and if you go here for example to net minecraft forge and then whatever the version is you can see that in the features class once again so we have a feature.or with this or configuration this is the one we've just made and you can see features states coal so this simply gets the default state of the coal or block then we call range here for 120 square and count so this is one of the ways that you can call this you can also do with placement and then get a range some top solid range configuration as you can see there's also some dev average config there's a plenty of ways that you can generate ores i encourage you to take a look at the features class once again for some of the ore generation here it is incredibly useful the way we're going to do this is we're going to get a configured placement here and this is going to be of type top solid range config we'll simply call this configure placement this is equal to placement dot range dot configure new top solid config or dot get min height or dot get min height and or dot 
get max height. There you go. Now, what does this mean? Let me quickly copy over a comment and then let's think about this. If we hover over this, you can see the first parameter here is the bottom offset. The bottom offset is the minimum height for this OR, meaning basically that we've put in min height 25. So the Y level 25 should be the lowest level there. The maximum at the very end is the min height plus the maximum is the top level in y direction that this OR actually goes. So maximum is 50, so this OR actually spawns all the way up until 75. Now the interesting thing is that the top offset, so the middle thing, is subtracted from the maximum to give the actual top height. As you can see effectively, the OR exists from the bottom offset, so 25, all the way to bottom offset plus maximum minus top offset. If the first and the second parameter are the same, so the top offset and the bottom offset, then we simply spawn from min height to max height. If this has been confusing, then once again, I can just reiterate, yes, that's world generation for you for Minecraft. It can be very complicated. It is sometimes hard to follow. I will agree with this. Let's make a new private static method, and this is going to be a configured feature here is going to be question mark of type question mark and question mark. This is the register or feature. This will take in a or type called or. We'll also put in the or feature config called or feature config and a configured placement. And this is called configured placement. This will return a registry. Very important that it is net Minecraft util registry dot register with the world gen registries dot configure feature or dot get block dot get dot get registry name and then we will feature dot or dot with configuration with the or feature config here with placement the configured placement and then we'll also add square dot count and then or dot get max vein size so we could for example also say two and here we have the configured feature of question mark question mark or feature, and this is the register or feature with or, or feature config, and the configured placement. And here, once again, we can spawn the actual or with event dot get generation with feature generation stage underground ors, and then or feature. That's how easy it is. Now, before this, we can, of course, now because we're in the biome loading event, we can, of course, also add a, you know, filter here, so we can add a few if statements and see if the particular biome we're in is a particular biome that we maybe want this ore to only spawn in. That is, of course, something you can always also add. Last but not least, in our mod world events, let's all add the mod or generation dot generate ores and pass the event in here. Two little modifications before we start. First of all, I re-added the count and the max vein size here, simply because otherwise we wouldn't get almost anything spawning. And then something that is very important that I actually sort of blanked out on, we actually need to set the ore generation before the tree generation. This is because of the fact that the generation happens in different stages. We've seen this with the generation stage here. And if we go in here, you can see that decoration goes from top to bottom. And because the tree generation, if we take a look at this, this is a vegetable digital decoration and this happens after the underground ores so if we do it the other way around then it's not going to work you will have to stick to the generation here at least that's what i found so the ores first and then the trees and if that's done let's see if it works right also don't forget to create a new world here because we've messed with the world generation so every time you modify something there you need to create a new world Right, we've just spawned in and what I find most useful is to get into spectator mode and then just descend into the world and usually I try to find a ravine because it's most easiest to actually get something and as you can see we've already found it the great and amazing amethyst ore inside of the world as you can see there's only two here. Let's see if there's a few more. There is another two right here. And then maybe we could... Ah, there is another cluster. That's actually a few more. And there you go. That's actually how easy it can be to get the amethyst ore or any ore into the game and into world generation. Right, and there you go. This is how easy it can be to add the ores to the game. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I, of course, hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this. And I will see you in the next one. So, yeah.